Okay, so this is the view I now have of the lunar eclipse through my telescope. And there's still some clouds in the way, but you can already see the Earth's shadow on the moon. And if I adjust the exposure... There is the moon. This one's really fantastic. And yeah, I'm using my phone to do this. Hi everyone, so in this video, I'll be photographing the partial lunar eclipse that will occur tomorrow. But this partial lunar eclipse will just be any typical partial lunar eclipse, because this will be the longest partial lunar eclipse since the 15th century. So it'll be the longest one in more than 600 years of human history. And the thing about tomorrow's partial lunar eclipse is that it will cover approximately 97% of the lunar surface. But the unfortunate thing about it is that as soon as the moon rises above the horizon, the peak of the eclipse has already finished because the peak of the eclipse happens at 5.02 p.m. But the moon rises at approximately 5.17 p.m. So it's way beyond the peak of the eclipse. And the only part that is visible in my location will be the end part of the partial lunar eclipse. So I won't be able to see the peak of the eclipse itself. But it is still going to be worth capturing the lunar eclipse because a lunar eclipse is something that doesn't happen all the time. And if I won't be able to capture the partial lunar eclipse tomorrow, then the next one will be a total lunar eclipse that will occur on November the 8th, 2022. So it's quite a long wait. So hopefully the sky will be clear tomorrow so that I'll be able to properly photograph the moon without a hitch. So same thing as usual, I'm gonna use my DSLR camera and attach it to my telescope to properly photograph the partial lunar eclipse as it goes through its phases. And I will also be taking some shots of the lunar eclipse using my DSLR only that is not attached to my telescope to see what I can get. So this is where I'll be photographing the partial lunar eclipse tomorrow and the moon will rise up somewhere along here. So there is a possibility that parts of the moon will be blocked by these trees here. But as the moon continues to rise up above the horizon, I will be able to properly photograph the moon as it goes through the different phases of the lunar eclipse. And yeah, this is the view I now have ever since my neighbor decided to cut down the big tree that once blocked this view to make way for a water tower. So there's now more sky visible to me. So I really do hope that I'll be able to capture the partial lunar eclipse that will occur tomorrow. And I'm also planning to capture the full moon after the lunar eclipse has occurred just to make the most out of the event itself. So if the sky is clear tomorrow, then I'll have two sets of images to show you at the end of this video. The first set of images are those of the partial lunar eclipse, and the other one is of the full moon after the eclipse. Also by the way, to those of you who might ask as to why I've been getting thinner throughout all of my videos, it's because I've been exercising for one year now and I'm still doing it. And I also do numerous exercises such as cardio, strength training, and high intensity interval training, just to name a few accompanied by a strict diet so I've been doing a lot of discipline on myself for one year. And I'm just simply doing this since we spend most of our time indoors during this pandemic and it's up to us whether or not to use that time wisely and responsibly. And that is why I've been exercising for one year just to keep myself healthy so that I can go through this pandemic intact. So to those of you who haven't exercised yet or are planning to exercise, please do so because it is something that you won't regret later on. And yes, it will take time for the results themselves to show up, since it will take around weeks or months for the results to show up. But in the end though, the effort that you exerted will all be worth it. So it's gonna take a lot of discipline and commitment for you to succeed. But the only thing that matters is that you don't give up and you have to be responsible in the things that you do along the way.
Okay guys, so I'm currently in a spot where I'll be photographing a partial lunar eclipse, which is the same spot that I used back in my last lunar eclipse vlog. And it's currently 5.18pm and the moon has already risen up above the horizon, but I'm still waiting for it to be visible from my location to f so that I'll be able to photograph it through my telescope and using my camera. Also by the way, I forgot to mention, if you want to get a bit more creative with your lunar eclipse photography, you can create a lunar eclipse image sequence like this image here that I created in my last lunar eclipse vlog and I will provide a link to a video that I created a long time ago on how to create an image sequence of whatever eclipse it is you're photographing using nothing more than Photoshop. Okay, so I'm still waiting for the moon itself to rise up above those trees there and the clouds are now coming in. Oh god, I really do hope that those clouds won't be too thick that I won't be able to photograph the lunar eclipse. Wherever you are, moon, it's now time to come up now. Okay, so this is a really big cloud that is now covering the moon. Oh no. Okay, so my hopes that I'll be able to photograph the lunar eclipse tonight is really, really low because the clouds are not moving away. They're, they're in fact getting bigger and they are in front of the moon. So there is a very high possibility that I won't be able to photograph the lunar eclipse. Many, many minutes later. Yes, most of the clouds have finally cleared out, but it's already close to the end of the eclipse. Okay, so this is the view I now have of the lunar eclipse through my telescope. And there's still some clouds in the way, but you can already see the Earth's shadow on the moon. And if I adjust the exposure... There is the moon. Finally, the clouds are now beginning to clear up. Okay guys, so the eclipse is already over, and at least I was able to get some decent photos of the moon, because the clouds departed for a brief moment, only for a brief moment, but it was ready enough for me to at least make the most out of this moment. So, I, hopefully I will do better next time on November 8th, 2022, which will be a total lunar eclipse during that time compared to today's partial lunar eclipse. And even though tonight was a bit frustrating because of the clouds, at least I was able to capture something. And I will show you the final images I took tonight at the end of this video. So, pretty much. I was able to capture some decent photos of the partial lunar eclipse before the clouds rolled in again. I wasn't able to witness much of the eclipse itself since the clouds only departed very close to the end of the event. However, this was the only one that was decent enough for me, and it was taken minutes before the clouds rolled in again. As you can see, the Earth's shadow is still prevalent on the moon. Capturing this event was very frustrating for me since it took a while for the clouds to move away from the moon. At least, I was able to capture something during this event, instead of ending up with nothing. Other than that, I also took this short recording of the partial lunar eclipse while there were still clouds in front of the moon. This was taken after I took an image of the moon and figured, why not also record the eclipse as it happens? No matter how long I waited, I could not get another clear view of the moon. Despite the presence of the clouds, this moment was still quite spectacular since I got to witness a lunar eclipse all over again. Hopefully, things will be better for the total lunar eclipse that will be visible in my location on November the 8th, 2022. Also, I forgot to mention, if you want to know how a partial lunar eclipse occurs, it happens when a part of the moon passes through the Earth's darkest shadow, called the umbra, whereas the other parts of the moon stay in the penumbra, resulting in a partially eclipsed moon. Aside from the clouds, I was also able to capture the full moon phase of the moon after the lunar eclipse ended, like what I planned before. I captured this image of the moon by taking hundreds of images of it through my telescope close to midnight when the sky cleared out. The moon was already overhead during this time, and it was quite tricky capturing it with an alt azimuth mount that cannot point overhead. I think this is, by far, one of my most detailed takes in the full moon, albeit quite noisy. In case you might wonder why the moon is very colorful, it is because of the variations of certain minerals on the moon itself. An image like this is meant to exaggerate those colors to make the chemical differences more visible. The blue tones indicate areas which in the mineral ilmenite, which contains iron, oxygen, and large amounts of titanium. The orange and purple colors indicate areas low in titanium and iron. The white or gray tones denote areas that have received more sunlight, 
The human eye cannot perceive these vibrant colors in the moon since they are very subtle, but they are there. If you want to know how I created this image, I will leave an info card in the top right corner of your screen linking you to a tutorial on how to capture something like this. Aside from this image, I also created this image composite with the full moon just to be a bit more creative. This image is a composite of three images put on top of each other. So far, I think this is my best composite of the full moon itself. This reminds me of the site I was greeted to after the lunar eclipse ended and the night sky cleared out, but with less stars visible due to all that moonlight. So that wraps up this video guys, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and felt the joy I experienced aside from the frustration of witnessing the partial lunar eclipse. It took me a while to get this video done since I had to juggle some priorities along the way involving college and other things. But I will be back with another astronomical events video for the month of December, so stay tuned. And as always, clear skies and stay safe, everyone.